My name is Ashley Bolt Ingram. I'm 10 years old and I'm in the fourth grade and I go to Pacific Northern Academy. I, I like to play basketball and I have two, I have two brothers who both go to this school and one of them likes to play basketball as well. I got my name because my brother Caden, my older brother, he he liked the movie Incredibles, and so he wanted to name me Dash. And my parents, my parents agreed with him. Well, in basketball and like an actual game, I would probably like go a lot harder and play like harder defense, and I wouldn't like yeah, and I would play a lot harder. And then in and in, in PE, I would probably like not score a lot, I'd probably like pass it a lot and then let them like help them get better. I wouldn't like go as hard and then I'd probably pass it a lot more. When we ask kids to define integrity, they always say doing the right thing when no one's looking and they kind of parrot that but then in the when they're faced with it in the real world, I think that that little saying, doing what's right when no one's looking, I think it comes back and they actually hear it in their heads and it makes them stop and think, whoa, I need to have integrity in this situation. And I've actually been in the classroom where kids have said to me, called me like on it, like, oh, well, you're not having integrity right now. And wow, as an adult, you're like, whoa, who are you? But in actuality, it's great because it makes you, it's, it's not something that you don't think about. It's something that you're always thinking about. Hello, my name is Piper Botson. I'm nine years old and I'm a third grader at Pacific Northern Academy. I like to do arts and crafts and I like to do experiments. And someday I want to become a doctor. Yes, I have a close relationship with Gorilla Glue. Um, Gorilla Glue is handy because if I needed some like two things to go together and I didn't want like to use tape, I, I have to use glue. Um, I got the idea because I use glue a lot for arts and crafts, but I've never really tried it on wood. I learned that, that you need to control the variables or else you won't have an exact answer and that Gorilla Super Glue is the strongest glue to hold wood popsicle sticks together. If I was head of a company and I knew someone was doing an experiment with my product, I would want to see how it did. So that's why I sent a letter to them. I got a thing of glue, and then I got a t-shirt, and then a couple of letters. And a bubble head. We empower students to be learners, to be able to look at who they are and their skills and say, okay, if I learn how to do this, then I can do this. Or, oh, there's a problem, let me figure out different ways to solve it. And I really think our kids leave with a sense of confidence that they, that it's, it's hard to put into words, but they have it. Uh, my name is Deborah Hayes. I'm 14 years old. I'm in eighth grade and I'm going to Pacific Northern Academy. On the weekends, I think my number one thing I like to do is read a book or I like to practice archery.
My, my mom, she teases me a lot, and my dad, he's pretty chill, and there's a lot of food at our house, which is good. It like, makes me want to come home after a long day at school. It's really warm and comforting. And I have a sister, so she's always bugging me while I'm doing my homework. I've known Deborah for forever, but didn't have the pleasure of teaching her um, until she was a sixth grader, and I got to teach her in math. And I've always admired her from afar. And um, when I had her in sixth grade, I got to know her up close, and I admire her even more. Just the um, obstacles she's overcome and her inner strength she has. She's so together for her, a young lady. Um, she's gone through a lot of health challenges um, with allergies and with all sorts of things, but she's so focused on what she wants and what she can accomplish. After I'm done with dental school and I have the okay to actually work on patients and not kill them, I think. I want to be able to be in the position to help the tribal community because I come from Point Hope, which is a very small village up north, and I have a lot of family up there. I used to think I'd change the world, but I'm doing it in a small little piece by assuring that Deborah gets to go where she wants. That makes sense, like a little drop with the ripple effect. Your dad's sitting right in front of you. Anything you want to talk? Um, I want to say probably thank you for putting me through PNA all these years. Yeah, I know. I know it was like a struggle for you, but deep down, you probably knew this was the best option for me. And I just want to say thank you for supporting me all this time, no matter what's going on, because I know it must be annoying dealing with little teenage drama that I rant to about. So I want to say thank you for sticking with me through all these years, putting up with me, and also just choosing what's best for me, even though if I not, might not agree with you. I want to say thank you for making me do all the things that you made me do. The one thing I really missed this year was being in the classrooms as much because I've had to spend so much time learning about the finances and the board and you know dealing with some of the challenges that we had this year. So next year I see myself less in my office and more out with students and teachers and actually helping everyone continue to move towards the vision I have.